this is a blend extra. One in six men in the United States will be diagnosed with prostate cancer over the course of their lifetime. A National Harris Interactive Survey shows that the prolonged emotional and physical impact of the disease is felt not only by the patient, but also by his caregiver. In recognition of Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, we have Dr. Jeffrey Alba and Tom Kirk, President and CEO of Us2 International. They're here to discuss this survey. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon. This is really um, good, to see you. It, it, good to have you on this show. This is not just about advanced prostate cancer and how it affects the patient, but this also has to do with the burden that caregivers feel as well, correct? Tell us well, about it. What we've it. learned in the survey is that uh, there's a high degree of stress that caregivers feel, and <clears throat> what we want people to know is that that str stress you feel is normal and there's something you can do about it. Let's talk about that. How can caregivers dis decrease the amount of stress that they feel when they're caring for a loved one? Well, what we know is that knowledge is a power, and we have an opportunity here for people to talk to both healthcare professionals, uh, medical professionals, as well as people who've experienced the stress and lived with prostate cancer and are living with prostate cancer. Both people are here to help. And what it takes is for people to reach out and to learn. This is a new experience for people. They shouldn't pressure themselves to feel like they need to know everything and that they're unusual or weird uh, for not knowing it. So this is a journey, and people are here to help you. So the good news is that new treatments are making it possible for people diagnosed with prostate cancer to live with. The other side of that, though, is because they're living longer, they're living much longer with a disease, and then the people who are caring for them, too, are caring for them much longer. That's correct. And so as men live longer, early stage prostate cancer is very survivable. And so now, recent research has shown that even with advanced prostate cancer, men are living longer. We have several new treatments that can improve that longevity. But now that people are living longer, the focus goes to quality of life. How can I live my life to its fullest? And we found that these men were concerned about being able to go about their activities, their relationship with the people around them, and not being a burden to those around them. So it gives us some insight into their journey. We're lucky that we have this survey, which was commissioned by Estellas and Medivation and done by Harris Interactive, but it helps us understand the journey of the patient and their caregivers and helps us maybe to help our patients better with those problems, partner with them. So now you have this insight. Specifically, what can medical professionals and support organizations do to help these advanced cancer patients? Well, I think it's an iterative, collaborative effort between patients, their loved ones, and, and health medical professionals. We want to partner with the patient along with their loved one together to figure out exactly what they're struggling with right now at this time and how we can help them have the best, fullest life and diminish any struggles, emotional or physical, that they may be going through. So we really want to help them with that. And there's valuable resources out there, such as the us2.org site, which gives you information about prostate cancer and this study it's, it, as well. That's ustoo.org. And you can go there and learn about prostate cancer. There's also groups all around the country and even the world that are available for caregivers and patients to provide support and advocacy through us, too. Gentlemen, thanks again for that great information. And here again is that website that you can visit.